Hello. Okay. Next tutorial. This look is meant to be a recreation of the main character from the movie V for Vendetta. I should mention I haven't actually seen this film yet. I will get it and I will watch it, I promise, because after looking at all the photos of this look, it does look pretty cool. Um, but it was actually a request I got quite a while ago by NYCWTC23. Yeah, so I'll pop the link there to their channel, so thank you so much for this request. It's definitely a super fun look to do, because you've got to be fairly patient with it, because everything has to be so symmetrical, and the lines have to be pulling in exactly the right place, and yeah, but it is, it is definitely a fun look to do. So yeah, so if you'd like to see how to recreate this look, stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do is block out my eyebrows, so I'll pop a link here to one of my previous tutorials just teaching you guys how to do that, just so I can save some time up in this video. So I'm going to block them out and get back to you. So there we are. So for the foundation, I'm going to be using a mixture of Snazaroo Clown White, which is basically a white cream, and I'm going to be using that with some MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC15, the yellowy tone. Um, this is basically a liquid foundation. reason for that is from the pictures I can see of the film, he doesn't seem to have a block white face or block white mask, so he needs that tiny hint of skin tone in there. The majority of it's going to be white, but it needs that slight tanned yellowy effect. So I'm probably going to be mixing about three parts Snazzaru Clown White to one part of the foundation, because it needs to be majority white really, doesn't it? But that should give it that slight effect, uh, tanned effect. So I'm going to mix that all together and apply it over my face, not my neck, because it's meant to be a mask, and we'll go from there. just take my kabuki brush and I can start buffing this in. Then I can take some Grimace translucent powder and I can just press that in all over my face, particularly on the eyebrows, press it in really heavily and then we can just brush off the excess and that will make the, obviously make the makeup stay a lot longer plus it will also get rid of the shine. So then, before I start drawing on like the moustache and the eyebrows, I, I need to get a, a better understanding of where things are going to go, because the whole face needs to look like it's pulled up, because it's, there's this whole huge grin going on, and that's going to affect the eyebrows and the eye shape and the wrinkles there. So, first thing I'm going to do, I think, is work on the nasal labial folds, because they're going to shape the majority of the face. So I'm going to draw some new cheeks on, basically. So I'm going to use a um, face form contouring palette by Sleek, number 374, and it has these really nice dark colours, dark brown colours that just look really good for shadows and contouring, basically. I mean, it is a contouring palette, so... Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to take my medium fluffy brush, and I'm going to start tracing on these lines. And try not to let the lines go too far beyond the end of your nose. Okay, and I've just gone the shape, had the shape go around like that, just so it's that whole apple area. Um, don't worry about how harsh it looks, because I'll once I've got the, all the shapes in the right area, then I'll start blending it out. But for now, I'm just getting the harsh lines drawn in. So, and I've gone down the sides of my nose just to draw that my nose in a little bit more, just to make it look a bit thinner. And then I'm going to go follow the nose shape up. And just go slightly over my eyebrow so the idea is I'm going to make this whole area curved because the eyebrows need to be drawn quite a bit higher as if he's doing that jobby <laughs> I'm just going to take one of the lines down so down this probably about the center of the cheekbone not cheekbone of the apple here and I'm just going to draw that going down to about there. And then I'm going to do the other side. And then I'm just going to take the eyeshadow and I'm just going to go ever so slightly underneath my eye, not exactly on, on the line of my eye, I'm just going to go ever so slightly underneath it. And I want to go for a shape that's slightly curved under, so it's like a sad face, if you would, <laughs> if you will. So just to make, because when you smile naturally, you, your eyes don't go straight, they go like that. So it gives the illusion that the cheekbones are brought up. So yeah, try and get it as, as ever so slightly curved. I'm just going to take a finer brush and I'm going to just take the darker brown shadow 
and I'm just going to start tracing on these lines you get the crow's feet around the eyes but make sure to curve them under so it looks like obviously the smiling I also have one going up as well there we go so now I've got an understanding of where the eyebrows should be because I know they can't touch these wrinkles but I know they have to be in line with that so I'm going to take a black grimace cream in 101 and a really really stiff but fine brush so I can control it and I'm going to start lightly at first but I'm going to start tracing on this shape it needs to be obviously raised eyebrows but it needs to be a curved shape but it needs to be not completely oval so it's going to start probably where my natural brows start but then it's going to taper off but you'll see as I go try and make it as symmetrical as you can I know it's really really difficult but symmetry is what makes this look extra creepy There we are, so then I can take the same black cream and the same brush and I can start colouring in the moustache So uh, and the beard funnily enough, so I haven't actually got to cover my beard even though I already have due to force of habit <laughs> so I'm going to colour it back in again, oh dearie me um, <laughs> so yeah, so it needs to go along the top lip, I'm going to cover my top lip with the black as well and cause it's got this really thick bottom lip hasn't it? and the upwards bit needs to stop just at the cheek uh, at the apples of the cheek you'll see what i mean There we are, so I'm all beardy and moustachey. <laughs> so then I'm going to take some MAC Studio Fix Fluid in black track, so black, and I'm going to apply that all in the waterline of both of my eyes, just like completely covered, not outside my eyes, just literally just the waterline. I've also gone in the waterline of the top lashes as well just underneath just so it looks extra dark yeah I was going to color my eyelids black because obviously he has just these hollow black eyes but I am actually going to use my black sclera lenses in the end so I think that'll be more effective then I don't like doing looks where I have to have my eyes closed for it to work so I'm going to do that um obviously if you wanted to you just paint not your entire eyelid black you would paint half oval so probably half of your eyelid just so it needs to look like really little slits because it wouldn't be a full round eye if he's smiling, would it? Because the cheeks have to go up. So yeah. I'm then going to take a sleek br uh, blush palette in pink sprint, number 366. And I'm going to use this colour here, this pink teeny colour. Which is just a really nice rosy red. So yeah. So I'm just going to apply that in the centre of these new apples that I've drawn on. just go back in with the original contouring colours and just darken up the contouring a little bit. Make sure they're not really harsh lines but they need to be fairly smoky. So once you've drawn the line take a slightly bigger fluffy brush and just start blending it outwards. Remember the areas that need to be like puffier need to have the shading going over the top so for example on the folds here I need the blending to go towards the apples and I need there to be a straight line with no blending on the inside to make it look flatter if that makes sense so there we are um, I just added two extra lines just on top of the eyebrows just to give that illusion of like wrinkles if the eyebrows are going up the only extra thing you could do if you wanted to is apply some white cream, so like the clown white, ever so slightly in it, random areas of the beard and the chin and the eyebrows just to make them look a bit shinier. But as I've used cream, the light reflects off it so it looks a bit more plasticky. So I'm not going to bother adding any extra lines, highlights to them, I don't think. I'm then going to add um, like a lip stain type thing. Not obviously like lipstick, but it's going to be in Jewel, if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the Showgirl palette 857 by Sleek. It's like a really light, light pink, but I'm only going to use a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that. 
and the idea is I'm going to just ever so slightly brush that onto my bottom lip. I'm going to drag it up ever so slightly to go along the underside of the moustache, just stopping as it turns upwards. Okay, so not like insanely pink, just it gives that little hint of pink there to go with the cheeks. So there we are, so now there's nothing left to do except pop in my black Scalera lenses and my wig. The costume's actually going to be fairly simple, it's basically from what I can see from the photos, an all-in-one black, like, not suit, but all-in-one black outfit with a black cape that ties around the front. So, hopefully that should be quite easy to pull off. And there we are, so I popped in my two black Scalera lenses, which are called... Sabertooth lenses, or the name of these particular lenses are, and I've got them from eyesbright.com. I'll pop the link in the description bar below to the website and the actual particular pair of lenses that I'm wearing because they are awesome. And I'm I'm definitely happy I wore the lenses instead of painting the uh, the black on the eyes because now I can actually see. So that's cool. <laughs> um, I've got a bl long black, long black, medium black. It's kind of like a bob wig to be honest. It's got that short, um, blunt fringe and. It's shoulder length, yeah, so, and the costume has said it's just like a black, oh, I've got a black robe type thing on, but you could wear anything black, to be honest, and yeah, and a cape would be awesome. Um, he does actually have a hat, from what I can see in the film, but to be honest, the only hats I've got at the moment, the only hat that's remotely similar is like this kind of a top hat, but the rim around the edge isn't enough, so I, it doesn't really work, so I'm going to give that one a miss, I think. <laughs> So yeah, so that's my makeup. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, the usual, if you like it, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time, bye.